Hello, Unbreakable Lovers. Ooh, happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. Can you believe that? I know. It so, comes God. around so quick. Because life is going so fast. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. you know, I love this time of the year. I mean, like, I mean, the hustle and bustle of coming into Christmas. And Christmas and New Year's is fantastic. But um, what I love about this time of the year is the fireworks are now over. That's we can, right. The celebrations for celebrating 2022 are over. But now it's a time to really reset uh, your dreams, your goals um, for yourself and for your relationship. And, um, yeah, you know, so I, I love what Einstein said, you know, he defined insanity of doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. The definition of insanity. The definition of insanity. Yes. And so yeah. what are you going to do this year in your relationship, mm. um, different than last year, to really reset your relationship and put that fire and passion into your 2023 marriage because mm, it doesn't just happen mm, no, it will it not just happen no. you have to work on your relationship yeah. and so we've been working on our relationship for like 30 something <laughs> a long <years>. time <laughs> yeah so yeah. so those kind of habits that you put in place like I, I really do love this time of the mm. year because you kind of get a bit of a Gap. Well, I don't know, maybe maybe you're in the retail business or whatever and it's not like that for you, but you do get a little bit of space to kind of have a look back and maybe have a look forward. So I'm just wanting to give you four um, healthy habits to, you know, start to really integrate into your relationship. So the first one is make time to talk. It's so important to stay connected, isn't it, Rick? I'm a good talker. He's a great talker. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a good buddy to have. But yeah. we have to make time to talk. Yeah. It could be talking while you go for a walk, talking yeah. while you exercise, talking on the couch or whatever. Mm -hmm. Number two, lock in a date night. Date yeah. nights are great because yeah. they create that connection. We love date nights, yeah. Intimacy. Yeah. We are the date And it doesn't have to heroes. be expensive either. I know no. some people can, um, can't afford it. You've got kids. So you've got to get more creative around those date nights. Absolutely. As it could be put the kids in bed early. Have um, an at-home date night. Have an at-home date night. Order in, maybe. Order know, in. Or get, whatever. Get creative. Number yeah. three is to create some fun and adventure. Mm. It's amazing the problems that disappear when you just have fun together. Mm. Like go canoeing. Yeah. Go swimming in the water. Here here in Australia, it's mm. very, very hot where we yeah. are anyway. It's at the moment. Yeah. And Or do, do mm. something adventurous. Like, mm -hmm. you know, get fit together. We work out yeah. together. Yeah, we started um, to last yeah. year. Though. That was fun. Fun. Yeah, and yeah. we did today. We did today so too, yeah. <laughs> so, and the fourth one is make time for intimacy, mm. you know, and I'm not just talking about intimacy in the bedroom, like that's really important mm. to make make that a priority because yeah. it's really good for your marriage yeah. and keeps you connected, but also outside yeah. the bedroom, like affection, you know, kissing each other goodbye when you go your separate ways or having a, a, a midday hug or, you know, just words. So, so tell me this, Fee. How many times intimacy outside the bedroom do you think is important for intimacy? In, is it 10 to 1? Is it 5 to 1? Is it 100 to 1? Well, that is a very difficult question. <laughs> it should be when a lot more though, shouldn't put, it? Put, put your comments below and tell us what you think about that. But it certainly is connected what yeah. happens outside the bedroom to yeah. what happens inside the bedroom. So that's four yeah. things you can four work habits. on. Yeah, create, make, make them a habit. Yeah. I mean, you've got to do something different. If you want a better relationship this then year have, than last yeah. year, you've got to do something different that you weren't doing last year, which is why we're suggesting you can reset your relationship by yes, creating okay. these four things, not just for the month of January or February, but making a habit of those four things this, this year. And, and we guarantee that mm. if you can do that, it'll really add the spark and the spice to your relationship. Now, if you want to have a bit more fun, um, check out our Spark relationship app below. We'll put the link in the comments below. That really helps you build those relationships in those four ways, four communication, fun and adventure, romance and intimacy, and love in action, which is serving. So, so it gives um, you creative ways to do yeah. that. So you don't have to you know, be thinking, oh, what am I gonna do? Mm. You know, lots of creative ideas. Check it out. Um, anyway, guys, look, we believe this year could be fantastic for you mm. and your marriage, your relationship. Mm. And if you can create those habits, you know, we know you're going to have a fantastic 
you're going to build a real unbreakable love yes. this year. Mm. And yeah. I, look, I just want to encourage you, if this is, if, if unbreakable lovers really helps you, like mm. p invite your friends along yeah. because, you know, we don't want to see relationships break down. Mm. So, but we need you to do that part and we'll keep creating the content for you guys to make ama have amazing relationships. Yep. We believe in you, we believe in your relationships, and we just want to help you build that um, real connection spark this year. Thanks, guys. Have Bye -bye. a great year. Yes. Bye.